A news story that's going unnoticed right now, and it's pretty bad. A company by the name of Simply Games has sold out of its PS4 stock, and it will not reverse a policy of forcing pre-order customers to pay more for the console than they initially signed up for. I read an article on computerandvideogames.com, and they're talking about a UK retailer known as Simply Games. There are people who have pre-ordered PlayStation 4s, and now they are receiving emails and notifications from the company stating that they must purchase a bundle or they will forfeit their pre-ordered console. Now, this is something that, you know, unfortunately, you're going to have those people. I mean, they're a business, and they see that they can price gouge people. I mean, you look at uh, Toys R Us back in the day, they used to do that for the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. They used to force you to buy a bundle um, or you couldn't get the console at all. But what Simply Games is doing is they're taking already agreed upon sales. You know, people have already signed a pre-order and basically said, hey, look, you know, once the console ships, I'll pay you. They're now turning the tables they're now saying no 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 i know we agreed upon you know one price but now it looks like the playstation 4 is extremely popular it looks like we're gonna have to up the price a bit and simply games is fucking people over left and right with this they're forcing people to purchase to pick a new bundle and the cheapest bundle they have um is uh, I believe it was like 40 pounds uh, more than what the regular retail price is for the console. And they have to pay in between 415 and 470 pounds in order to stay in the pre-order queue for launch day. That is fucked up beyond belief. The company should be ashamed of themselves. And I think what people should do is say, fuck this, just cancel all your pre-orders. Unfortunately, people won't do it, but I mean, it's the only way you stick it to the company. You say, screw you, you know, fine. You want to be a dickhead? Fine. I'm not going to do business with you anymore. I don't know. I feel bad for the people that got bit by this, but this is not the only story. It seems like Amazon UK is doing the same shit, but not not with the bundle route. They're upping the price of the console. They're basically saying, okay, fine, you know, We're going to up the price because, you know, it's a little bit more important right now to people. People really want this console. So we're just going to up the price by 30 pounds. That's what they did. So Amazon's trying to make a quick buck. Luckily, they're not doing it here. And to hell if they do it here because I've already fucking pre-ordered the thing through Amazon. And, you know, I'm a little pissed off because here in New Jersey, uh, when I place the pre Amazon was not collecting sales tax. So I have an invoice from Amazon saying, here, your price is going to be $399. That's it. No it, you know, no sh- shipping charges, none of that shit because, you know, I have Amazon Prime. But now if I go back and check the invoice, it's now been updated without them sending me an updated invoice. They just, you know, they just put it on their site and it's up to you to check it. But if I go on the invoice, I now have to pay tax, sales tax, 7% sales tax on a $400 console. And I think that's bullshit because I placed the order prior to this taking effect. So yes, the item will ship in November, but I made a agreed upon sale in July. Or, or June, whenever the fuck they they open up the pre-orders, because I got the launch day one. So I think it's a little bullshit that they're going to charge me tax when we made a, a, a an agreed sale prior to this effect, you know, this policy taking effect. So I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of bullshit with PS4. I mean, you're going to have it. People are, are in dire need of this console, apparently, and companies and other people are just going to take advantage so take care look out for future videos definitely stick around for my playstation 4 unboxing video which will be on november 15th yes that's right i'm getting day of launch so check it out